Sons used to do it all the time when they, they didn't want me to know what they were saying. It's okay. I need a gurney and transporters. Suspect is unconscious. We're all done, Sam. Come on in. You're gonna bring him in here? Do you want me to call security? No. You trust him? I do. He was terrified. Can you imagine how hard it must be for him? Park it. You type backwards, too? Mm-hmm. OK. You type, I'll read it forwards. Any dizziness? No, just hungry, and you have pretty eyes. OK, thank you. Stay on point. <laughs> Blurry vision, headaches. Do you see That's flashing lights in your peripheral vision? How long have you talked like this? <laughs> Nonsense. That's my grandson. Are you all right, lovey? Tokyo Kian. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. Gwendolyn. Press tweet. Lady, I'll arrest you. I have never known a man so eager to get me into handcuffs. I got your text. I think we're fine here. Thank you. Frustrated, God. I, but situation, my officer, the two explained to you. Tried, I. Sweet dear, I have absolutely no bloody idea what the hell you just said. <laughs> if he speaks slowly, I get most of it. We've got to dash, Birdie. I parked the car in the emergency entrance, and apparently the hospital's in a bit of an uproar. Fools. Don't forget your thing. Excuse me? I'm Dr. Pantier. I'm sure you are. Sam knows he's not supposed to speak in public. When you talk to people, darling, they think you're off your trolley. Yep. I was running some few tests on Sam. I'd like to ask a couple of questions. I'm sure you would. When Sam was three years old, he was in a terrible car accident. His mother was killed. I'm so sorry. He was in a coma for a week. When he woke up, he could only speak backwards. So there was neurological damage. Brilliant. Your grandson passed out earlier. I'd like to admit him. I'm sure you would. His images are coming through. There's nothing you can do about his speech. I think you should look at this. There's a spot. I'm very familiar with Sam's MRIs. He's had enough of them. That's where he sustained permanent damage as a result of the automobile accident. I've seen it many times. Okay, that would explain why his speech was affected, but that's not the area I'm referring to. This is. You see that bright spot? Have you ever seen that on any of his MRIs before? No. That's new. What is it? Serious, is it? Let's find out. Die, could I? Not on my watch. Too bad. I don't want to live like this anymore. Thank you, everyone, for coming. This is Dr. Okonjo. We met in Kenya last month. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So this is my patient, Sam. He's 24. He had a car accident when he was three and sustained permanent damage to his broker center, which of course affected his speech, which is what causes him to speak backwards. But the damage to Sam's speech is a separate issue from what was discovered on his MRI yesterday. Oh, there's cerebral aneurysm. It's most likely an incidental finding. Yeah, I'm going to ligate the aneurysm by placing a clip at the base, since it's not amenable to endovascular coiling. Well, that's not a protocol, but I suspect that's not why we're here. No, it isn't. Dr. Okonjo and his team have been injecting stem cells into every possible organ, including the brain. Yeah, that's not going to affect your patient's aneurysm. No, but it could affect his speech. What are you proposing, Alex? I'm proposing we help a young man who doesn't want to live like this anymore. We have to operate on him anyway because of the aneurysm. So while we're in there, why not take the opportunity to infuse stem cells directly into the tissue that was damaged when Sam had the accident? Because it's never been done before. Am I correct about that? Sort of. I have been injecting bone marrow-derived stem cells into a few dozen patients who have had brain trauma due to stroke. In the majority of cases, the patients have completely recovered their motor skills and speech. Need I ask the next question, Dr. Pantian? Since this has never been done before, the long-term repercussions are unknown. 
brain tumours, incapacitation. So if you perform this procedure, there's a good chance the patient could end up in a vegetative state. So the chances are you've always had this aneurysm. The procedure is fairly standard. We put a brain clip at the base to stop it from growing. And then you will inject him with these stem cells? Yes, it's one of the most promising new... Please. It... Have you any idea how many doctors have wanted to try out their newest toys and procedures on my Sam? I understand your concerns, but... My grandson is not a guinea pig. Please, Grandma. This won't I? No, this you do not want. Yes. Decide, I. You're right, Sam. You can decide. But if you go through with this, you'll do it without me. I can't watch you go through another procedure that will break your heart. I would never recommend to do this procedure if I hadn't seen the result. That's the second time someone's done that to me today. Perhaps a little self-reflection might illuminate why. Ducky. I have been taking my grandson to doctors ever since the accident, and all of them have promised a cure. Yet here we still are. Just fix the aneurysm and be done with it. That boy has lived his whole life with only me to talk to. And look what it's done to him. Sam goes through these periods of frustration. It's only natural. But he has to learn to be strong and accept who he is. I wish you could cure him, but you can't. Sam, your grandmother feels confident that we shouldn't go through with this procedure. I think we should wait. Look, if we had one other case like yours, I could conduct a real study. Just one other person could unlock so many questions. I watch people talk to each other my whole life. I keep silent. I sit in a crowded room. I am alone. To talk is a gift. To tell someone how you feel is a miracle. I don't want to be alone anymore. I want what you have. Together, this do we. go to a normal school. He had special tutors. So I could take him away whenever we both felt we just needed a break. He loved to travel to places where they didn't speak English, as long as he couldn't understand what they were saying. Because then it wouldn't matter that they couldn't understand what he was saying. He'd be like any other tourist. He'd feel normal. Wasn't it your fault, Graham? It wasn't your fault, Grandma.